Hi guys, welcome to another Unreal 4 sound design tutorial. In this one we're going to be having a look at sound classes and sound mix modifiers and how we can use those to better control our mix. Um, in this example we're going to be looking at a busy mix. There's a lot of stuff going on and we want some dialogue to pop out the mix so we can actually uh, hear it. It also might be really important in your game to convey a message that might be important to the mission to the player and if you have a busy mix you're not quite sure what's going on interactively with your mix then it'd be good to set these things up so um, let's just jump in the level and I'll show you what I mean okay, so we've got a really busy mix here now if I press P you notice that the mix of the sound effects is still kind of ducked down and we've just heard that dialogue. If I press O, the volume of the, uh, the sound classes, uh, SFX sound classes have been increased. So let's just have a look at what's going on there. As I press P, the sound mix modifier plays, there's a short delay and then my, um, my sound cue plays with the dialogue um, telling the player to deactivate the security safeguard. Um, when I press O, it pops the sound mix modifier off and the SFX sound class, or all the sounds cues within the sound effects class, um, are the volume is, is increased, so that sound mix modifier is turned off. Okay, so in order to set that up then, we need to create two things, two sound classes, one for our SFX and one for our dialog. So let's do that now. Let's right click in a new folder and create a new uh, sound class and call this dialog. And the other one we're going to call SFX. So this is SC SFX. Cool. Now we need to assign some sound cues to that sound class. So let's go into our folder then. Now I've got loads of stuff going on in this mix. I've just chucked everything in there. So um, with these uh, five selected, let's right click and go to the property matrix. And if we make sure all these are selected, we can actually change all of these sound cues all at once. So with them selected, we go back to our sound class folder and send all these to the sound effects sound class. OK, so I've just opened up the sound menu here. I'm just going to plug them into the sound class option. And you can see the stars appeared telling me that they need to be saved. So I go file, save all, and they're done. The next one is our dialogue. Please deactivate security safeguard. So I'll just do that manually here. I'll select the, the output node of that sound class, uh, sound cue, and plug in our um, sound class dialogue. Okay, cool. So the next thing we will need to create is our sound mix modifier. This is going to contain some settings which are going to change um, the sound mix for that particular sound class. So if I go SM. Um, dialog and I'll just save that and go in and I want to apply a EQ and the EQ settings here now I just basically want to gut it and in in the mid frequencies and then turn the whole um, sound mix down for the uh, SFX so I'm going to turn the bandwidth up in the middle pretty high and turn it right down to like 0.2. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to tell it which sound class it needs to affect. So in this case we want to turn down the SFX or the explosions. So we just plug in the SFX um, sound class into the sound class slot and maybe we just want to turn down the volume of the entire sound mix as well. So maybe we'll go 0.75. Now if we go into our blueprints, we can set this up. Now I've already created one here. Um, so when I press P, it's going to push that sound mix modifier on. So the way I think about this is um, push is like switching on a button. So push is on and pop is off. So I'm doing this in quite a manual way. So when I press P, it's going to turn it on and it's going to play our sound and the sound mix modifier is going to stay on until I press O. Okay. So because I deleted those uh, 
sound mix modifiers before I create them for you. I'm just going to have to select them again. So I'm just going to select dialog in there. I'm going to compile it and then play. Please deactivate security safeguard. Okay. So it's not perfect, but you get the picture. So there's another way we can do this as well, and it's quite an interesting way, is that we can do this passively as well. So we can um, set it up so that any sounds coming through a particular sound class will instantly have an effect on another sound class's sound mix. Um, so if we go into the dialogue, for example, and go into properties and set up the passive sound mix modifiers um, and we need to tell it which sound mix we want to employ in this case we want the dialogue to come on so any sounds coming through this particular sound class that are over a minimum volume threshold of zero are gonna aff uh, affect this uh, this sound mix modifier which we've already applied to our sfx sound class now i know it's a little bit confusing but this is a really nice way of allowing our dialogue to because we might not know when our dialogue is going to to play there might be some sort of random interactivity with this dialogue um, and we don't want to be plugging it in with blueprints all the time so setting it up like this is a it was kind of like we can set it up and forget about it essentially okay so with this, I've set up another sort of network here, which is just simply playing that, so that, so that sound cue, which is going through that um, sound class, the dialogue sound class. And we should hear the sound mix modifier applied to our SFX sound class as soon as R is pressed. Okay, so let's try that now. Please deactivate security safeguard. And it turned itself off straight afterwards. That's because the, the volume of that sound cue going through that sound class dropped below that minimum threshold of zero and the sound mix modifier switched off again. So we just want to see that again. That those those settings just there. Okay. I hope that makes sense. I mean Often there's a lot of narrative in games that needs to be driven by dialogue uh, and having your sound classes and sound mix modifiers set up in this way can, can really uh, make your games and your dialogue stand out. Okay, in the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to use WYs to create a similar ducking effect um, with your games. Okay, I'll catch you next time.